You know, it's funny how the universe works. A little while ago, about a week or so ago, I talked about how I always found it funny that the Phantasm had never been a part of the DC universe. You know, such a popular character from one of the most pivotal DC animated films um, ever. And it never really, you know, that character of Andrea Beaumont slash the Phantasm never really showed up anywhere. Well, <laughs> that just changed because Tom King just revealed a tweet of this image for his upcoming Batman Catwoman uh, maxi series. I believe it's a maxi series. Um, I don't know if it's going to be an ongoing, but yeah, they did say it's going to be like a 12 issue maxi series that I guess is going to wrap up the remnants of his run. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's cool. Um, and yeah, he announced that the main antagonist is apparently the Phantasm. Yeah. But, yeah, I am, the moment I saw, I saw this image, I, my jaw dropped. My jaw literally dropped to the floor, um, when I saw this. I was like, oh, cool, an image that Tom King just tweeted about. Oh my god, it's the Phantasm. Yeah. Um, so the big question is, um, is it going to be Andrea Beaumont? And I find it funny that, you know, uh, this character has shown up in the DC Universe, you know, shortly after the arrival of the Arkham Knight into DC into the DC Universe from Detective Comics. And the Arkham Knight, um, I really dug the, the new spin on the Arkham Knight of not making him like Jason Todd or some other character we know of. It's an original character. Um, it's the daughter of Jeremiah Arkham, and she's part of this whole group of light, and she actually feels like more like she's going to be an antagonist for Robin in the future, honestly, for Damien. Which is cool. Um, it certainly fixes a lot of things that were wrong in the Arkham Knight, with the Arkham Knight character in the game, so I'm cool with that. But it does make me wonder of what Tom King is going to do with, um... Uh, with the Phantasm, you know, it, he could easily change it up to be not Andrea Beaumont, it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Andrea because there was a tagline of, she awaits you. So I'm pretty sure they're going to mention Andrea, and it, I'm also curious if they're going to bring up the love um, him and Bruce, uh, she and Bruce had in the early days, like in the movie. I would not be shocked if a lot of this did fall a lot of the, like, the beats of Mask of the Phantasm, but on a darker scale. Uh, now, I know I'm well aware that Tom King is a very love him, love him or hate him writer. Espe even I'm like, uh, at, you know, I enjoy his Batman run. I especially love his Mr. Miracle series. Um, but I will admit that Heroes in Crisis did leave me wanting as a Wally West fan um, at the end of it. And I felt like there were just some choices he made uh, at the end of the, of the series that made me go... That, that, eh, I don't know if I like that. But on a whole, I still think Tom King is a really great writer. Um, I still think he's a really great writer, and he's also going to be writing the script for the uh, New Gods movie, which I guess is still a thing. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's writing the script for that, and he's, of course, doing Batman Catwoman. And with this news, is made me all the more excited for what he could do with uh, the phantasm, uh, I think this is I think this is a really cool. I'm also wondering of what is he is he going to give Andrea some new weapons? Is he going to make her? Uh, is he going to change up her origin more? Is she still going to be the daughter of a mob boss? Um, is she going to have her family tied with the Joker? Um, there's so many questions here, and again, I find it funny that it's taken almost you know it's it's officially coming out in 2020, and it took this long to get this character in the DC universe it seriously took this long to get him to get her Andrea Beaumont into the main DC universe this long like Harley took less than that i think Harley came out like shortly after her the Mad Love episode yeah i think she came out uh, she appeared in the Mad, you know short uh, she appeared in the DC universe shortly after the uh, Mad Love episode same with um, Renee Montoya you know, a lot of people forget that Renee Montoya also uh, joined the DC universe from the animated series. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of funny. That but Andrea Beaumont was a character. The Phantasm herself was a character that left such an amazing impression in Mask of the Phantasm, and you know, it's now 
you know, officially canon, which blows my mind. And it took long, you know, Arkham Knight came out shortly before. <laughs> the Arkham Knight got into the DC Universe before she did. I don't know. <laughs> I find, I don't know, guys. I, I just... I just find that funny, you know? I just find that, you know, in a weird way, um, hysterical, you know? I just find that, um, funny. But it does make me wonder of what Tom King is going to bring. And honestly, this is a character, Phantasm is a character that is right up Tom King's alley. This kind of mentally broken, um, vengeance-fueled character who really has just so many layers that Tom King could just peel away. Again, I am curious to see um, if she's if he is going to bring up uh, a romance between Bruce and Andrea. And also, since this is going to be a Batman Catwoman book, it does make me wonder of how Selina is going to be, you know, you know, seeing this. I know Selina usually presents herself as a um, very aloof person, as a very aloof person, because she's had her own flings beside Batman. You know, of course, mentioning uh, Sam Bradley and several women she's been with. But, yeah, it makes me wonder of, you know, Bru you know, on, aside from her, you know, Andrea in the movie was very close to Bruce as well and almost made him give up being Batman. And again, it really does fall into the whole thing of what Tom King's been doing with his Batman run was, um, was this, you know, was basically, you know, uh, giving up the role of Batman for love and for being happy. That's the big thing. That was the whole crux of the movie. So again, it may, is she, that character, this character is perfect for Tom King to write. Uh, this character is just completely, 100%, totally right for Tom King to, well, write. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited for this. The moment I saw this image, I was like, I, I've got to talk about this. I just, I, 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 I got to talk about this just like right now. I have to talk about this just right now. <laughs> so here we are talking about it. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe in the comments below, what do you guys think of uh, the Phantasm becoming part of the main DC Universe uh, in starting January 2020? And are you excited for the Batman Catwoman series? And if you weren't, are you excited now to see what Tom King could do with the Phantasm? Uh, just comment below, let us know it here at Comic Universe, and you, if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be, of Earth, be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. Um, we always appreciate it, and are always excited to hear your input, especially all of you uh, major Batman fans out there. Really excited to see what you guys have to say about this video in particular. But once again, oh, uh, I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.